This week's War for Chips, see how you halve the cycle time on this component as part of an engineer's passion for aviation. And we see the latest machine, and the only one in the country, the Miano ABX80 THY. This week's Swarford Chip Show is a fantastic story about how an engineer has seen a part, he's using that part himself, he didn't like it, so he said to himself, you know what, I can actually make this better. So how the company has taken off, and that is a really, really bad pun. You'll find out in a minute, but it ties in nicely with what's in the background here, which are different size of bars. So you've got your five mil, your 10 mil, your 40 mil, your 60 mil, but on the top there, 80 mil bar, and that ties in nicely with the journey that Andair have taken. If I said to you RV6 or RV7, would you know what I'm talking about? Probably not. They're actually kit aircraft you can build yourself and then fly, so recreational aircraft. Now, this is a great story because it's where an engineer, Andy Phillips, built, got the plane, built it himself, but he saw the components and said, you know what, I'm not comfortable with these, I'm gonna build them myself. So this is where the journey begins, around 1994. So Andy, father and Owen Phillips and they got one of their first machines and you'll see as we go through the story they do love a Citizen Miano. So this is your fixed head machine with your KID 70 bar feed. You've also got sitting on the top here just an Alcart wizard and also your Esprit software but we'll come to that later. So here one of the first machines and if you can get your camera in there you can see it's a single turret twin spindle machine still going strong and making some absolutely fantastic parts and these parts are critical aircraft components therefore fuel actuators, fuel controls. And examples are, I'm gonna just dig some, some of the ones we prepared earlier. So as you can see, very nice. Obviously this has been anodized. Majority, pretty much 99% of the parts they make are in aluminium, but they use these machines. Yes, they're very powerful, but for the precision. So threaded on the OD, slotted, bored, milled. So a great example, some of the components there. These are going in the valves in aircraft, so again, critical components but as the company took off excuse that very bad pun they decided they needed a bigger machine so the next step was this machine around the corner and guess what it is the next part of the journey was this machine here another citizen Miano this is your BND 51 SY2 so again Y axis but if you're looking in the working envelope you see twin spindle single turret but still going strong and making parts as we can see here so threaded board milled on the ODID, super accurate, great, great finish as well. Again, need full traceability for because the, they're aircraft parts, critical components. But one of the reasons they bought this machine was to make this part here, which actually comprises three parts. So one, your two, and your three there, I'll take that part. And again, very intricate job. Turned, milled, slotted, absolutely fantastic. Now what they were doing though, they actually manufactured this in three parts because your main spindle would take your 51, but the sub-spindle would only take a smaller diameter. So here, so machine it on the main, move over to sub-spindle, and then they'd have the smaller diameter there to, and hold that. So it's perfect for this machine, but they wanted to improve it. So this was the next stage in their journey. Let's go and have a look. You're getting the vibe here that they do like a Citizen Miano machine. So what was the next stage in the progression of Ande? Well, it was to go from a single turret to a twin turret. So here you've got the ABX 64 S. YY2, so 64 mil bar, as you'd expect. YY, that's access on Y axis on both turrets. And what does this mean for the guys? Well, first of all, this is relatively small footprint, a super powerful machine. But Andair didn't buy these machines for the power; they bought it for the precision, the speed, the accuracy. And here's an example of one of the parts they make. Again, critical component in an aircraft in aluminium. As you can see, threaded, tapered, radius in aluminium, but super thin walls there, so they need that pre precise precision on these type of machines. But the part I showed you earlier was previously in three components. The reason was because I said it couldn't take the whole part on the sub-spindle, so this ties in nicely with this machine, the 64. Now they're making those three parts all in one. That means, A, you're only making the one part, so you're saving on cycle time. B, you don't need the O-rings down there, so you're saving on weight, which is key for an aircraft. So a great, great progression for and uh, and working alongside with Citizen and their Miano machine. But where did they go next? And this is the next machine that Andair bought. It's the first one in the country, the ABX THY. 
triple head Y axis. So in the working envelope, you've got twin spindle with a triple turret. Now Owen wasn't actually looking at this at the time, but because of COVID virus and what's happened there, this machine did become available. And as I said, first in the country, will he look back? Absolutely not, he absolutely loves it. And again, you see Fanet controls, it's got a bar feed there, so they can load up. 80 mil bar and run this machine again these guys aren't looking to run 24 7 but if they want to they can with this bar loader here but if we go back here we can look at some of the components they're absolutely fantastic and again owen is absolutely raving about them because what you've got here it has got a few fingerprints on it i do apologize for that but the finish on here is absolutely immaculate because they're using a diamond tip on the turret there to finish this component off and that's coming off in pretty much half the cycle time it was before and this again this used to be done in three ops. As you see, knurled, threaded, milled. Again, in aluminium because that's, it's an aircraft component. But this is coming off now in one op, finished in just over two minutes, where before it was four minutes of machining time, let alone the manual intervention. So this is a great story of how and air progressed through the years and working with Citizen Miano. But not only that, you need to think about your software as well. So with the Citizen machines, you get your Alcart wizard, which enables them to program it and makes the job a lot more simple. But also here, you've got your Esprit Cam software. So the part here is relatively simple on the screen, but it makes some really complex parts. And this system enables Owen to make these parts in the most efficient way possible. So you can get the full benefit of the first ABX80 THY in the country.